it's very difficult to define love because love is not able to be co contained in a definition. It's not a thing. It's not a static thing. It's more of a frequency, a vibrational field. There's no space for that to reveal itself if we are in the transactional mode, in the negotiating, bartering mode. Unconsciously, yes, this all takes place behind the scenes. So to meet another with agen without agenda means being able to bear the truth, yeah, to bear ourselves, to be naked without hope or fear. <laughs> That's presence, the presence of what is here. And then meeting the other in their presence, in their nakedness, and bearing that, being, yeah, often another's truth, another's feeling state is not to our liking. It threatens. <clears throat> but to remain as presence in that. So presence and openness are the field. Presence and openness is the field of inner silence. Then love arises. Not love in the sense of I love you, because that usually has another transaction with it. It usually has ownership. I love you. I want to possess you. I want to devour you. I want to hold on to you. No, love doesn't have a condition on it. It doesn't have a, a grip on it. It's like the light. You can't, you can't squeeze it in. Yeah. It's an open field. That's what we might call the third body. And that love has an intelligence in it that starts to inform relationship if we're in close proximity with another. And it starts to inform beyond my will and your will. Now, this sounds cosmic, and in some ways it is on some level quite cosmic, but it's not. It's actually very real and palpable. When we gather in, uh, what should we call it, Sangha community, when we gather, for instance, in our, well, here, here, but in our retreats in person, when we gather, what is that but an open field of presence and openness? That's really what it is. We're listening. We're being here, or yeah, naked, allowing what wants to be exposed. Listening to ourselves, listening to each other. And then love arises. It's palpable. We feel love. It's not necessarily attached to anyone. Love grows. The field of love grows within us. And there's nourishment in that. 